a major morbid milestone. 100,000 Americans dead from COVID-19, and they have names and loved ones still grieving. This is John Clomax. His wife, Paulette, is trying to come to terms with his death. Every moment is a mixed emotion, and that's exactly what it was. It's extremely grim. This week, they would have celebrated his birthday. Instead, a surprise. She found his name featured in the New York Times COVID-19 Sunday paper. Look where the sun's shining, and it was right on his name. It was unreal. Just, I can't even begin to tell you, but it's sort of his little secret wink that he gives us all the time. John is one of 100,000 American coronavirus victims. It's a startling number that crosses all political lines and all demographics. But black people are dying from COVID-19 at a far greater rate. COVID-19 has ravaged our communities of color, especially the black and brown communities, and has only exacerbated already existing vulnerabilities, inequalities, disparities, especially in access to health care. And in memory of the COVID-19 victims. This virus has visited every family, including my own. Some political leaders are urging people to take precautions. In Washington, I'm Nadia Romero.